Um, okay, it's been a while since I vlogged and I thought that maybe you guys would like to know what's been happening in my world because it's been chaos. Um, okay, so Easter weekend, my house flooded with sewage. Um, my house is, okay, that was not a good way to start, but um, it catches you up to date on why I haven't been um, vlogging, I haven't been blogging, and like the videos have been like minimal school stuff because <laughs> My world has been nuts. Okay, so my house is on a slight like um, downward slope. It's not even that much, but um, somebody on the Easter holidays throws cooking grease down their drain, and when they throw cooking dra uh, grease down the drain, it clogs the main line. And when the main line clogs, um, my house being on the slight downward slope decides to uh, take the worst of that. So, uh, yes, I do have... Yeah, Coco was upset about it too. This is the master bathroom before any renovations have been done. Um, I just realized I don't have any lights on. So here's what it looks like beforehand. Um, I've kind of cleaned out everything. This is the only stuff left that's on the counter. A um, little mouthwash and soap and a towel. Oh, look, here I am. Hi, guys. Um, so here it is. The We have double sinks, cabinets from the 1970s, little uh, cloud line Moroccan tile, um, shower, toilet, and then this is the problem that really nailed the whole thing is that my closet, if you can see, is hooked into the uh, master bathroom. So when the toilet was just <laughs> overflowing and the bathtub was overflowing it was well the toilet was the worst and it was just unstoppable um so anyway that's probably way more information than you needed to know uh it oh, went straight into the closet so i've got stuff that is at the dry cleaner and then you can see that the closet is completely ripped out um, the floor, they've been looking at to see how bad the water damage is, and the carpet's been pulled up. Um, I'm not putting carpet back in here. I'm going to go pick out tile. So, today's adventure is going and picking out stuff for the master bathroom. We have to go pick out tile. Um, I've already picked out the cabinets. Um, I took a picture of the cabinets that I'm going to get. It's not the greatest picture, but I'll try to insert that. And um, then what else are we doing? Oh, we have millions of errands to run, just like housekeeping. So come along. We'll see what we're going to get up to because uh, it's time for Erin to renovate her house. That's what's happening this summer. Okay, so my car is loaded and ready. We've got stuff left over from the garage sale that goes to the thrift store, chair, See if you can see in here. Okay, we got the diplomas that are going to be reframed. There is a footstool somewhere in back that's so going to get some leopard print. <laughs> Here's Lydia's car. It is full to the max of stuff that like did not sell at the garage sale. It's just it's time to just let go. It's time to let go of stuff. Look at that. We got the mirror in there. I thought we were going to break it like a thousand times over, but it's ready to go. Okay, let's go thrifting. We got lunch. Um, I got some spinach and Lydia got a sandwich. The sandwich is on what she calls chunky bread. It's actually a five grain, but I don't even know if you can see Lydia the way I'm holding the camera. I hope you can see her in her sandwich, but yeah, it, yeah, it looks really, really good. She was gonna get this Asian pork one, but then they didn't have any more. Okay, our next stop is to go and drop off my diplomas to be reframed. Um, the last time I moved, like to Alabama, they got really scratched up in the move, the, the frames did. And the frames were really cheap and like from Pier 1. And I took in another piece to be framed and then when I was looking at the frames, I found out that this frame store has bamboo like cane frames that um, it looks literally just like reed cane, but it has, um, it's been painted gold. And since my frames are like cheap Pier 1, frames, I think it's time to actually care about the fact that I went to college. Are we going to show them the church with the really good landscaping? Yeah, check it out. Okay. Oh, see this cemetery? This, I don't know if I'm, we're going too fast. We'll try to... We see the cemetery. Okay, we're going slow because I know, okay, I'm probably still way too fast. Do you know people in there? No. Do you know that this is one of the weirdest things to me, not being from the south? 
is that there are fake flowers on the graves. Yeah, it's like that's kind of shady. Like, it, if if you're if you're gonna leave flowers for your loved one, at least spring for the real stuff. Well, I mean, silk flowers can be expensive, but it's like when I moved here, but permanent. Like when I moved here, and like even when my family came to visit, they were like, "Wow, people really care about their loved ones. They go and they have fresh flowers put on their grave every day." And I was like, "No, they have to be fake." And then we had to go check. And then sure enough, they were fake, and it was Did like... Did you just go up and start feeling these flowers in the cemetery? Yeah. I did. I did, because I couldn't believe it. And it's like, it's one of those things that it's about, it's like Southern culture that does not, like, nobody on the West Coast would do that. I mean, everybody's all compost, green earth, everything on the West Coast. And it was like, here, it, it, that just stopped the same thing. Anyway, we are going to try to hit up the guy who reupholsters chairs. That's why I have a chair and a footstool in the back. So get ready. Cause I want everybody to say this with me. I and it's so good. And if you want the sun. against Lydia's better wishes because leopard is a neutral. This is gonna go with everything else in the room. All right. All right, so originally we thought it was this one, but now for like three cents difference, I really like the pattern of this one. It's more of a water, watercolor versus the one that this one has like little honey Fossil spots in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, yeah, so, and this one has more of a gray, which means I don't have to go with the black color. So, I think this is it. Okay. Hopefully this is it and we're, we have decided. Okay. That was intense. They had a giant stuffed lion and about halfway through I felt like I needed a hug from the lion. It was like, I can't make all these decisions. I have to commit. Oh, we're getting honked at. <laughs> Okay, so I tried to get this cat painting. Oh, it's cute. You like it? Yeah. I saw it when I was in Atlanta, and he's like a mouse, a musketeer cat. I want to say musketeer, but that's so bad because he's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's a, a musketeer cat. A whisketeer, like whiskers. Oh, I like that. See? Okay, so I tried to get him when I was in Atlanta, but the guy is really attached to him. But he's on sale, but he said not for sale. Like, okay, that made no sense. He was on display, but it was like not for sale, but then everything that's on display is for sale. You just have to like name a price. So I tried to negotiate, but the guy wants to make sure that it's going to a good home, but it would totally go with the decor in my living room. So he has my number and he's supposed to call once he's ready to sell, but I'm just gonna keep going back every time and and I am so excited, I can't even speak. Every time you're in Atlanta. Thank you, Lydia. You're gonna heckle him. I am gonna <laughs> Because it would go so perfect with everything else in the room. That's what I like. <laughs> this is this is juicy rentals van. The RV comes with everything, including the kitchen sink. I don't know how they fit a kitchen sink in there, or where the plumbing is headed towards. It oh, it has a kitchen sink. I thought I said oh including God. everything, but look, it has a penthouse up top. I, I kind of want to creep in on it. Okay, do like, it, do it, do it. Oh my god, there's a One Direction poster on the inside. That's all I see. <laughs> That's what I like. Hi guys. Um, okay, so it is day two of errands. Um, I realized yesterday that I in all the chaos of everything that I completely forgot to end yesterday's vlog. So today's agenda, we are uh, going out to Gadsden uh, to drop off some pieces that I have that need to be altered. And then I am gonna go pick up some um, 
groceries at Whole Foods and I have an acupuncture appointment. And I will probably not be filming the acupuncture appointment because like that's like therapy downtime for me. Um, and plus like some people have fears of needles so it's probably not good to put fears of needles and me being prodded with them um, on the internet. Trust me, it doesn't hurt. It is actually the most amazing thing in the whole world. Like, I go away, I, ha I mean, this is probably more information than you need to know, but like most people just find it relaxing, but I like have um, quiet time in my head and it's, I, uh, my acupuncturist calls it that I go to AccuLand because it takes me a little bit to come out of it on the other side, but uh, it is the best thing in the whole world. So that's on the agenda today. Um, I realized that I totally forgot to vlog all of yesterday and that there's other stuff that you guys are probably interested in. So um, I took care of my morning chores this morning, just like the normal stuff. Um, I uh, had to water the flowers that I planted out front and also the herb garden out back. Um, some of the herbs are coming back, which I'm very surprised about because we had such a strong winter in Alabama. I mean, what do we have? Like five or six snow days, which I mean, first off, snow in Alabama is bizarre, but then the, the herbs like are coming back is amazing. The lemon balm came back. The rosemary came back. The thyme came back. The chives are still recovering. Um, the parsley repr uh, replanted itself, so that's good. Um, and then I put in some fresh basil as well. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, yesterday morning, I went ahead and I dug up the ground and I put in some sunflowers. So uh, I'll put a video of the sunflowers in, but I'm telling you that it just looks like a mound of dirt right now that I just keep watering. And I think that gardening is the ultimate level of patience because this is gonna have to go on for 14 to 21 days before they even emerge from the ground. And I know this is ridiculous because I just planted them yesterday, but it's like, I want sunflowers now. Um, and by the time they get here, it'll probably be uh, August or maybe even September because um, I planted two different varieties, one that are massively tall and one that are just like semi-tall. I don't know the actual dimensions, so that's how it exists in my head. So yeah, I planted sunflowers. In other news, I got my letters from SAI, which I'm super jazzed about. Then the letters are giraffe print, which is even better because you know how I love giraffes. I mean, you gotta put your neck out there, you know, aim to the highest. Um, and then on the back, they even put my name, which is really sweet. And I think that's why it reminds me of high school because all I can think of is like my high school letterman's jacket. Um, but that's exciting. Uh, let's see, I took Coco for her morning walk, so she'll be okay that I'm gonna be gone in Birmingham and she won't be super antsy, but she still has her, you know, ability to run around outside and dig and... Oh, we're crooked. Maybe that's it. Okay, guys, we'll start this again. Okay. Uh, I just finished the acupuncture appointment and I'm a little bit fruit loopy so I had stopped off on the way to the acupuncture appointment and I picked up some dark chocolate so I'm trying to like get myself back together because I've got a lot of driving to do if I'm gonna make it home because I'm in Birmingham and I've got other errands to run so I'm trying to like perk myself up. It's just functional. <laughs> I'm really out of it. Okay, maybe we should start this again. Okay, we get this, we gotta get it together folks. Okay. Martha, who does my acupuncture, she loves rocks as much as I do. We like collect rocks and gemstones. Well, I don't have any gemstones, but she had me hold rocks today while I got acupuncture. And it made me very feel like very peaceful with like the earth and nature. And uh, we were talking about what happens when you die and whether or not you're like put in the ground or you're cremated. But then she told me this other thing that I've never heard anything about. So you have to tell me if you've ever heard anything about this or if you've looked at it on the internet. Um, I guess they have this new thing when you die that you can be cremated and then have your ashes like super fired at an intense heat and you can be made into a diamond. Which, I mean, I guess I, I'm very much of the idea that your energy like 
is energy and energy just shifts and takes different shapes or whatnot. But I'm trying to imagine like my body being at like afterwards being made into a diamond. And I mean, then I'd be like, you know, that whole like slogan for <laughs> wedding rings of a diamond is forever. And then it was like your body would be forever and it would, I don't know. This is like a whole new like mind theory that has blown my brain. Okay. I obviously need to have more chocolate. Um, if you know anything about this, please let me know because this is, this is whoa. Okay. okay so I can't stop thinking about the fact that you can be made into a diamond. And I know this sounds horrible, but all I can think about is the possibility that at the funeral, they could play Rihanna, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, because you'd be shining bright like a diamond. This is so wrong. Okay, I'm sorry this is morbid, and I think that this is possibly funny, and other people will probably think this is horrendous. I hope you haven't turned my vlog off because I was rude about death. It's a very serious subject, and we all grieve. It's just so different. I mean, you think your two options are cemetery or cremation, right? It's like, those are your two options. And this is just like a whole new option that is completely blowing my mind. So maybe that's okay. Maybe I've blown your mind too. It'll be okay. And welcome to Girl Post Acupuncture. Good times, you should go, you should get yourself some. It's a good time. That and post chocolate, so total score today. We are off to try to find the super target that is in Birmingham. And then we have to get groceries. And then we are gonna head home to Hi guys, I found the um, shirt that I was looking for and the dress that I tried on yesterday. So I thought I would show the ensemble that I'm super jazzed about and I found some other black and white dresses so maybe I can still make it work, but victory that I found the top. Oh, and it was cold in here. So I'm testing this pink watermelon and look, it has like, I don't know if you can see a little, little bright yellow right there. So maybe it's meant to be. Okay, here's the outfit. for me we played a couple of rounds of squeaker and uh, she had some dinner and she's tucked into bed now and I think that I should be tucking into bed too so uh, I hope you liked this if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, if you want to make sure you never miss any of these videos uh, go ahead and click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye